Ho 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 ho. Okay. We're back in the biz of warm uping. Uh, yesterday, I couldn't do a warm up uh, because, well, online I couldn't do one because it was power outage. But today, it is not. Hey, Zelin, how's it going? Good morning, Zeolin. So today I was thinking we should do uh, random topics. I think that would be fun. Um, next, next Monday, Monday study, we will explore, explore um, I don't remember what it's called, but it like AI generates um, new photo based on other photos like seeding uh, i don't really remember what it's called but the study is going to be a study of uh, imagination in the sense of technology versus uh, uh, pattern recognition so we're gonna there is this artist called andro android or andrew jones who who says he's a shape sifter which means he's looking through shapes until he finds what he wants so that's based just using the the strengths of the human brain because the human brain is a pattern recognizing machine it's hardwired in our brains um, that's why we can see phases in in a toast yeah. oh jesus so come Monday, we're going to play around with that. Um, generate some something interesting. And then uh, maybe I was thinking maybe five, ten minutes of exploring that that uh, that uh, app and then 20 minutes uh, painting on top of this result. I think that will be cool next Monday. I think that will be a good a good one. Anyways, um. Any topic suggestions? I'm all ears. Uh, Zeely, no, I haven't. I literally, today is the first time I can breathe. Um, in terms of workload, so I haven't had any any chance whatsoever uh, to think about it or prepare for it. But it's coming. It's coming. After this weekend, hopefully Monday, maybe season five starts. We will see. I will, I will do my best to get it done. We'll see. But it's so much. <laughs> Zelian is always good and bad. Yeah, and my daughter is. Um, uh, for those who don't know, she's disabled, and she's currently in some sort of phase where. Oh, like regression I don't know what it is but it uh, destroys my my heart uh, pigeon lady yeah that's a good topic any suggestions on topics we have number one we have a uh, pigeon lady hey one Amir how's it going what up Oh shit, I need to remove this one. No more Unreal B ornament. Oh snap. Hey Captain Boss, how's it going? Crystal Ogre? Huh, that's pretty cool. So we got Pigeon Lady, which is pretty cool. Crystal Ogre, or Camel Bird. I like it. We got three solid, solid suggestions. Any more? How's it going, Captain Boss? The one man wolf pack. I mean, well, me too. Me too. Uh, it's just. So, I don't know. It is what it is, right? You can't roll around in it and. and, and, uh, and just pity yourself, you know? You, uh, time moves forward, right? And if you stand still, you're gonna be stuck. So you gotta look forward and find a solution rather than look back and and whoa. 
so any more topics before I roll the dice? We got three topics, which means the dice is split in three. I'm gonna roll. Which means it's gonna be a camel bird. Zealin got it, and it's gonna be a camel bird. Camel bird by Zealin sixty four. Hey Miguel, how's it going? Well, I mean, it, well, yeah, it, I mean, and both. Well, it is what it is. You can't, you can't, you can't, uh, you can't bury yourself in it. Roll up your sleeves and get it done, especially if it's your child. You know, I'd take a bullet for her, so. What is a little bit of problems? All right, camel bird, camel bird. Do I have any picture? I have one weird, uh, that, but that's like camel bird. Stupid, camel bird. Water, water and flying is not a good combination per se. Camel bird, camel bird, bird, camel, camel bird. Hmm. Oh, maybe like an ostrich. Let's go like ostrich root or emu root. Okay, camel bird. Camel, camels are large, extremely large. One Amir, yeah, absolutely. What you gotta do. 100% is what, what you gotta do. You can't, like, you can't, I mean, take, like, take a moment, take a knee, and, uh, and kind of absorb it, right? Because if you ignore it, then th that's just um, stupidity, you know, you can't ignore something. Um, so you gotta, Take it in, you know, what's the problem, how to fix it. But you can't stand still and go, oh, she's doing this, or she's this, or that. And... Or with any problem, really. It's like, oh, I, I can't do this, or, or this happened to me. And Yeah, a lot of shitty things have happened to me in my life. But I, I like, absorb it, analyze it. Yeah, okay, that, that was a really shitty thing. You know, I wish that that wouldn't have happened, but it did. And then, then you gotta just deal with it, find a solution for it, and then you know, don't let it uh, stop you. I think, I think um, a lot of people. Hey, Lariv, how's it going? I think a lot of people. Um, they they kind of love. It's a bit weird one. Like this is gonna sound a little bit like in, insensitive, but a lot of people enjoy like wallowing in their misery. Like there's too many people who have uninteresting lives. And when something bad happens to them, that becomes the event of the year. And then they wallow in that, that, that negativity. And that be becomes like a central part of their life. Because they don't have anything else going for them. Uh, and it, it's a, like a contrast point in, in, um, in their life. Like, oh, look, I am special now. I belong to this club. Or, or I'm special in some way. And that's, uh, for me, like, that's a really negative behavior. And it's a really easy thing to do, especially if you're unaware of it. And I think it's really important that with whatever problems you have, you don't, uh, like, you don't, how to say it, like, 
put them on a pillar or something you know like you can't problems are to be solved right not to be cherished hey cosmoverse has gone and sometimes problems require insane amount of effort and I think that's good too and a lot of people they they want uh, they want a solution fast quick and easy they don't want to do the hard work I don't know but it's it's uh, sometimes when I see people who don't deal with problems I, w I just go like oh you, you love th that fact a bit too much that you have problems Hey Nareda, Cosmoverse, you're on your way to work, so you're commuting and, and uh, watching the stream. That's pretty cool. That's pretty dope. Hey Nareda, how's it going? How are you? Yeah, so like for me, like like I said, there's been times in my life where there's a lot of shitty things happen to me. But I never let them uh, like be me. You gotta, you gotta solve those things. You gotta deal with them, and then let them be something in the past rather than dictating the future. You know. I don't know. One well, I mean, Yeah, absolutely. I, 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 I mean, that's also. A very fair thing to say like everyone deals with the problem differently absolutely and I'm not saying uh, that like whatever I'm saying is the truth one you know one and the one and only truth but I'm saying that's from my point of view that's how I see it you know and I, of course everyone sees it differently and I'm, uh, people have to deal with it themselves but I'm just annoyed when I see people wallowing in it, like they, they cherish the problem. I think that's when, regardless of how you deal with it, when you cherish the fact that you have issues or something bad happened to you, like you, you let it be the biggest thing that defines you, then I think there's a problem. Then you're not even dealing with the problem. You're just kind of enjoy being special in a negative way that's how i see it you know people should be a little bit scared uh, um, careful with those kind of things because <clears throat> as i see it with everything if you if you do it enough times it is a pattern and patterns are always easy easier to break the earlier on um you, you deal with them and for example stop uh, quitting cigarettes is one of the hardest things to do because you build a ritual around it there's like multiple layers of ritual with smoking a cigarette and that's why uh, and let's say you smoke a big pack a day that's what 40 cigarettes or 20 cigarettes And, and, and that's 40 times a day where you perform this ritual and then all of a sudden you should stop after 10 years of doing this ritual that, that's, a, that's when the, the hard part comes in that's like when people are really struggling uh, to, to stop smoking and the easier it is to stop obviously is the faster you, you break the ritual and and don't let the ritual be a huge part of your life or replace the ritual with something else that is not cigarettes right and then you you break the loop that way uh, and what I mean with that though that kind of side note is like if, if you if you let the problem define you and build your life around that problem there's a higher chance you don't solve the problem because the problem is you 
and that's never good. You know. I've had a lot of friends who who um, who do just that. Like they, yeah, maybe they had a really shitty uh, dice roll, um, and and bad things happen to them. But they also wallow, or they kind of let the bad things that have happened to them define who they are, and they and they like miss opportunities or um, different opinions because their their scope is they have removed removed like part of the scope of potentiality, but just by focusing on this problem, and that problem defines them. <laughs> like a more real version. <laughs> yeah, but that's I've seen I've seen a lot of enough of that uh, happening in real world uh, where in my life where it's just a negative loop, you know. And it's re for me, it's really important uh, to remind myself about things like that. And I, I mean, I've had many reasons to 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 wallow in my misery, but I never subscribed to to that fact. You know, I've always tried to be, again, a little bit pragmatic about it and and kind of solve it, deal with it. But, ne but I mean, that being said, I, I've been in some deep holes. <laughs> Fight milk, yeah, I agree. What the hell is a camel bird? Well, this is a camel bird for once. I'm using a little bit of a different technique today. As you noticed, I I've I've built a base. And then I'm. Uh, the base was built with uh, a single tone, kind of, you know, like just building, build, building the volume, but the volume being rather flat. And then, and then now with overlay, I'm gonna use that base because overlay, uh, as you know, acts differently. And with overlay, for example, if I use white and go straight, there still it saves still some of the texture buildup. So I'm kind of using that to make animal feel. Thanks, Miguel. Have a great day, Cosmoverse. Thanks for joining. Good luck at work. Yeah, so that's, this is a fun technique to, to use. Um, for many reasons, and um, like f like I said, for one of the bigger reasons is the fact that you can um, you maintain a lot of texture detail, and uh, I know that a lot of problems I see with people on 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 the internets, um, especially beginners, is that they have a really hard time with marks, and it's a very um, it becomes very flat and kind of pro uh, messy. So using this technique is a fun way to um, layer brush textures. And and like if I switch it off, you can still see underneath layer like layer by layer. Like this step, you can still see the foundation lines they did with the basic value and then the overlay on top and you can you can kind of build a volume this way and it's, it's I kind of like it you just got to be careful with how you do it and which values you're painting with and how dark or light you go because with overlay you can easily burn uh, burn it to pieces Hey, Parapalazula, Parapalazulazala. Wow. Well. 
the reference is uh, study Monday and today is not Monday so we're not doing oh shit we're not use, doing the this is not <laughs> Cabal bird doesn't exist um, But uh, this week's reference is uh, brutalism. And always with human saturation, you can always you will always dodge values, but you can easily remedy that with um, like desaturation. So the. Um, Parapala Zulazala. You're new here, so the setup is I ask uh, for a random topic uh, at the beginning of the stream. This stream is only half an hour every day. It's on the exact same time every day, by the way. So if you want to join in, join in. And at the beginning of the stream, I ask for a random topic. And you guys, you throw them out. And then uh, I roll a dice to see which topic it is to be th that it is to be drawn. I start a timer, uh, and I don't look at reference uh, because usually it is a topic like uh, Cabal Bird <laughs> by Zealin today, and uh, they don't exist. Uh, and the idea of the whole warm up, <coughs> sorry. The, the, of the whole stream and the, the kind of warm-up aspect is to not really to do anything um, replicate anything that exists but just be free and creative and uh, do something uh, fun and and uh, the biggest takeaway is to just start moving the pen in the, the first thing in the morning right so that you're not um, starting your client work with having to figure out how to draw again after um, not uh, being at work for a day you know there's always this little uh, that's why you do stretching before you're running right so that your muscles are a little bit awake so they're not fully uh, sleeping so that's the, the whole principle which I introduced at the studio where I'm um, lead artist art director at is that uh, it's a studio-wide warm-up period. The first thing, thing we do in the morning uh, is that we uh, we sketch. And uh, this is season four, which is the fourth year of doing these online warm-up streams. There's a massive back catalog if you're interested. We do all sorts of styles and explorations and studies and uh, theory investigations and all sorts of things over the years. Um, Fernandez, no, I have not. I actually saw it on the news or the on news feed uh, yesterday, and I thought mm, I should look that one, look that one up, because I haven't I haven't seen it. But I do know that there is tons of dark things happening in the video game industry. I mean, I've been in the industry for fifteen years now. I definitely know a thing or two which is not in the news. Uh, naturally that occurs when you, when you're around people of the industry and you, you talk about things and one or two things gets said and in the rumor mill you know so i'm looking forward to see that one actually i'm, I'm i want to take time and sit down and and uh, fully give it my full attention but I have a long list of things I need to pay my full attention to in terms of uh, movies and su such 
Um, so I don't know when I will have time for to do that. We are two thirds in, and the camel bird is kind of okay. Miguel, uh, yeah, it's um, it's a doc new documentary about the dark side of video games. Like, I think it's about um, Riot and things like that, about uh, overtime, uh, slave wagers, and all the negative things about game dev. Hey Alex Fowl, how's it going? Welcome back, sir. What on earth is a camel bird? It seems to be a very ugly ostrich like uh, <laughs> bird. Time's up. Ah, oh, no. Miguel, I, I, it, um, uh, yeah, it should be on Netflix. Fernandez, yeah, there's no regulations in the video game industry. You're totally in the mercy of the employer. There's no union. There's no regulations on overtime or pay or it's just down to what the whatever they want whatever the innate um, uh, rule set of the studio whatever they say I'm fine Rock Knight Studios how's it going how are you sirs how's the tri gem there was a some sort of tri gem thing recently wasn't it Fight Milk. I don't know. Uh, I have a Netflix account, so I'm going to watch it. I am going to watch it for sure. For the amount you pay for a Netflix account a month, it's a, for me, it's not that bad. I could... I can... Because I watch Netflix a lot. Not so much like um, it's a great second monitor <laughs> distraction rock Knight studios that's awesome i need to join you one day on on these tri jams uh, we used to do them in the uh, university a lot it's a lot of good fun lots of coffee usually Fight milk. <laughs> oh, come on. What is Netflix monthly? It's like three euros or something? It's not that much. It's like a coffee. Right? You go buy a coffee and it's two. Hey, Kirill, how's it going? What up? Fight milk. You don't kid at all. You're dead serious. Oh, that's that's freaky. It's mm. pretty cool. Right. To fully understand what I'm drawing, I gotta draw the farmer, right? for scale 
Or maybe I can just silhouette him. Now we understand. Oh snap, it's a camel bird. The cat when I come into my studio is like, why have you closed the door? Rock Knight, yeah, that's good, that's good. I like the idea. It's a cool idea. Meet up for three hours. It's a good little routine. Uh, you 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 do something, but you do uh, try um, for the tri gem rock night. Do you do it a new game every jam, or do you continue? So it's just a three hour dev session. Alex Fowl, the reason why I, I did, uh, did that, uh, why I chose that is because I didn't want to overstate the camel and camels have a big head and I, and, um, and, uh, a very common bird position is, is this position with a long neck that they are like rearing up of sorts. Um, so that's, that was the internal reasoning why I did that pose. Because I could have done the head to the side and made it like a camel's head. But that would be overstating um, that would have taken it to too obvious uh, made it too obvious that it's like a mashup, right, of a camel bird so I still wanted a very bird like posture um, and this is a very common weird pose they they do is that they kind of tuck the head in Rock Knight Studios. Yeah, absolutely. I agree. It is um, it is a very efficient technique, and it's very much the same as uh, warm up. Like this stream, you 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 take time aside to explore, and then the exploration can uh, result in a great base that you can work continue working on. Or it's just a fun idea that you let die. But you would never know unless you explore it. Brock Knight. <laughs> Thank you. I will take 10% um, of all income. Thank you. Uh, as the um, creator of TriJam. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I'll be here all day. Okay, okay, 15. <laughs> <laughs> Alex Fowl, yeah, exactly. Um, the topic was by Zialin in the chat. Uh, Zialin said, draw a camel bird. And camel birds, they don't exist. But a lot of birds from the side, they, they tuck their head in like this. Like 
swans and so on. You know, they do like that. And th then they, when they look to the side, they go, Rrr. and then when they look to the other side, they go, Rrr. Rrr. but they still keep their head like tucked back. So that's what the idea of this is. Lurib, yeah, a little bit. I mean, it's not a perfect rendition of of anything. It's it is me attempting. Uh, but yeah, there's there's definitely small tweaks to be had. I tried to make them, and uh, and it is what it is. But yeah, it's good, it's good fun. Alex Fowl, yeah, flamingos and swans and <laughs> Rocket Night Studios, yeah, it's great. Yeah, fifty percent of zero percent and it's all mine. Oh, time is up. Oh no. Well, Zelin, thank you for the challenge of drawing a cavil bird. <laughs> uh, I had no idea that they existed, but there you go. Camel bird. <laughs> Let's find someone to raid, I think. Uh, Evan is online, let's raid Evan. He's doing some cool characters, poses. Let's raid him. I need to uh, switch language. Raid Alright, we're going to raid Evan, he's a great fantasy illustrator, make sure you give him some love, uh, hit his follow button, hit my follow button, and uh, see you guys tomorrow morning. Is it Friday? Then we're going to do warm up and I hopefully, hopefully half day game project on Friday. It's not Friday tomorrow, it's Thursday tomorrow, shit. Anyways. We're going to do the outro, and after the outro, take you to the raid, so don't go anywhere. Thanks, everyone, for coming. Have a fantastic day. Good night, if you're that part of the world. See you tomorrow.